Hi, my name is Greg Palumbo, Exhibits Manager here at Atatiki Museum, and today I'd like to show you some treasures from our vault. Today we have the Indians at Work magazines. This is a large collection of magazines that were put out during the 1930s by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, a division of which was the Indian Emergency Conservation Work. 85,000 Native Americans were enrolled in these programs during the 30s. The Indian Emergency Conservation Work built roads, bridges, uh, shelters, and uh, helped to fight against erosion around the country and in and around Indian reservations. The idea was that they would use Native workers to help combat the Great Depression and to put some people back to work while improving the lands that the government had for reservations. They were different than the CCC in that they were allowed to live on the reservation, stay at home, and then travel to their work sites. The CCC, however, had to have their individuals, mostly young men, in camps around the country, and then those workers would go right uh, next to the camp where their work site would be, in things like national parks and dams and uh, roads and bridges across the country. These Indian at Work magazines were published in order to spread the word about what Indians were doing within the country during the Great Depression and in the IECW. They talked about things such as prominent figures, uh, who was working on what, different projects that were happening around the country, and really had a very national pride kind of feel. These magazines would have been distributed amongst the CCC and the IECW. Here we have one of the Indians at Work magazines that focused on Howard Tiger. Howard Tiger was the first Seminole member to join the military and enlist in World War II. In World War II, 24,000 of the IECW alumni joined the military ranks, as well as another 40,000 who left reservations and joined the war effort in the big cities in manufacturing goods to send overseas. When Howard graduated high school, he had to have his mother's approval to join the military because he was still under 18. She was reluctant, as well as many Seminole tribal members were, to allow their children to fight in the war. They didn't feel that they should be fighting for a country that they had just recently been at war with. To that end, Howard went to work at the Opelaka Naval Station in Miami. He didn't like this job. He wanted to be in the war effort and missed his friends from the Cherokee Indian School. His mother, Ada Tiger, finally gave, his, gave her permission, knowing that Howard was very unhappy at the Opelaka Air Station. In this article, Howard's story is chronicled, and this photograph is from his birthday party, where his family gathered to wish him well in the service. When asked why he wanted to join the Marines in this article, he says, guess it was the Japs. Let me shoot Japs, and I'll be happy. Howard was a very brave soldier and returned a hero after the war. To read this article and more from the Indians at Work series, stop by the museum anytime. The library is open five days a week, Monday through Friday, for tribal members and by appointment for researchers. Please check out our website for more information at atatiki.com and like us on Facebook. And stay tuned to Facebook for information about our festival in November, AIAC, American Indian Arts Celebration. And thank you for joining us on Treasures from the Vault.